Hi folks, today we're going to be taking a look at the game Cellulose. Now in Cellulose, you are going to be in a plant cell and you're going to be doing some worker placement in order to collect resources, which in turn are going to allow you to collect points in this very cool game. So let's check it out. Okay everybody, here we go. I'm just going to go over the components really quick. Right over here is the main board. This is going to be the cell and there's several different sections over here where you're going to be able to collect resources. Now what you're going to be doing is as you're collecting these different resources this is going to allow you to purchase things like different cards and uh, on the root and shoot track over here this is going to allow you uh, to purchase things that are going to help you move up the root and shoot track so you can get or down uh, in order to get some more resources. Right over here is where you're going to be collecting cards and there's four different types of cards over here. You've got specialization cards and these are mainly going to be used in end game scoring but they do have some uh, abilities as well. You've got the enzyme cards which will have abilities that you will be able to pay a protein cube for to use. Um, you also have a protein storage vacuole this is going to allow you to take one of your markers off the board and place it back on the board someplace. And then you have a starch one, which is mainly going to be used to help trade cards. But all of them are going to have victory points, which are going to be uh, put over here in this star area. In the game, you've got um, different elements. You've got water, CO2, protein, hormones, ATP, and carbohydrates. And I'll just talk about how these all play in together. Each player is also going to be receiving a number of action markers and there's going to be a gray action marker that is going to be placed over here on the board. Right over here there is a water marker and depending on how many players there are you're going to place the water marker in that space. Now throughout the game you're going to be placing these markers on these different areas to try to collect resources and in turn try to turn those resources into points. Uh, one thing you also have is the cell wall over here and whenever the cell wall ends uh, over here the game is going to end and one way you can get points is by helping to build the cell wall so here's the way the game is mainly going to work um, first thing is going to be is you're going to do the sunrise phase and the sunrise phase is going to be over here depending on where your marker is you're going to receive whatever your marker says here or down here you can move them up and down throughout the game so right now it just says zero water cube so we're not going to be getting anything right now the next up is going to be the daytime phase and this is where you're going to be placing your markers here on the board to collect resources and I'll go ahead and talk about them. Right over here is the Zalem and this is where you're going to be collecting water. The first player to collect water is going to receive the water cubes that this water marker is on. So for now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and receive five of these cubes and I'm going to put them in front of me. Uh, in turn, I'll also be able to place uh, up to three cubes into my area in the central vacuole. Since I'm the purple player, I'm going to place them over here. So let's just say I decide I'm going to place three cubes or something like that. And anytime someone puts a marker over here, you're going to move this down. And if it gets down to here, there's not going to be any water left for that particular round. Over here is the stomata, and there's two. There's one that's going to be worth six CO2 cubes and one that's four. The first player who gets there is going to get the six cubes. Everybody else is going to go ahead and receive four cubes. And what these cubes can help you do is if you get six water cubes and six of these uh, CO2 cubes over here, this is going to help you build chloroplast, which is going to be one of these carbohydrates over here. Now, if you happen to have enough of these cubes, if you have 12 of each, you'll be able to get two of these. And if you place one here on the 2x, you'll be able to do that. Otherwise, you'll go over here to the 1x and you'll just simply trade in tw two, six water six of the CO2s in order to get the carbohydrates over here. Now this will lead over here to where it says to build the cell wall. If you happen to have one of these pieces you can go ahead and place it over here on the build the cell wall. Now what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to add a water to the central vacuole so you go ahead and put one there and then it's going to allow you to add a cell wall piece to the wall. So right now it's at 12 so I could go ahead and put one here at 12 and then I would go ahead and move up 12 spaces on on the uh, board over here. Uh, continuing on we've got the mitochondria. Now one thing you also can do if you have a carb is you can trade in for what's called ATP which are resources you can use in here. Uh, the first player can do this trade one of these in and he will get six of these ATPs over here and he'll be able to put them into his resource pile. Everybody uh, the other player will be able to go ahead and put five in there. Over here is a cytoplasm and this is going to be resulting in these little protein hormones over here that are shaped like this. 
and you're going to be using these protein hormones to uh, move up and down the root and shoot track. If you, uh, for example, if you want to move one of your characters down over here to receive two water cubes at the beginning of your turn, you would simply go ahead and pay this and then you would just continue to do that throughout the board. It will tell you what the cost is in order to be able to move there. Further up, this is the ribosomes. This is where you're gonna be able to collect the protein cubes over here, which are these red cubes. And these red cubes are mainly gonna be used to help purchase these cards over here along with the ATP. But the card will tell you uh, what is required, but you can get five proteins if you're the first one there and three otherwise. Over here is the nucleus. What this is going to do is if you end up paying one of the CO2s, this is going to give you a first player marker and it's also going to allow you to draw a card from the deck. And finally, we got the plasma membrane over here. If you pay a protein cube, um, you will have an opportunity to move up, down the root shoot track, or you can uh, choose this one, which will allow you to move either up or down. This will move you up, this will move you down. Okay, so after everybody's gone ahead and collected all of their resources, you're going to go ahead and prepare for the next round. You're going to go ahead and look to see who has the most amount of water on there, and whoever does is going to go ahead and advance one. Let's just say it was me. This is going to allow me to get one point. Uh, let's say blue does that. And uh, this is also going to give me access to this uh, extra marker over here, which I'm going to go ahead and take. Now, the interesting thing about this extra marker is that in a game, you can only place one of your markers in one of these spaces over here, but if you have this, you can actually do it again because it's uh, a colorless marker. So after this has been resolved, uh, you're going to go ahead and move the water marker back up and clear out all these. The, went, the Anybody who had cubes left over, they're going to just leave, keep, theirs, the, keep theirs in place. Now over here we have cards, and uh, this is one of the main ways you're going to be able to score in the game. Um, I'll show you the different types you have. You've got specialization cards, um, and this is going to be the cost of the card. One, this is two ATP, one protein, for example. Mainly these cards are going to be used to score end game points, but I will go ahead and show you what it says here in the instructions uh, just for further detail, because some of them will also have ongoing bonuses. Right over here is an enzyme card. And um, this is going to this is going to be the cost of it, and this is how much you're going to pay in order to activate this. So there are different cards that have different activations. So for this particular one, you'll be able to draw the top card from the component deck. Now the interesting thing with this card is if you end up purchasing another enzyme card, at that point you'll actually be able to use a protein cube or any of these enzyme cards uh, that you have. But you'd have to pay a protein for each card, but that will give you that opportunity so you could activate these different abilities. And then, of course, it's going to have your points on there that you'll be able to move up. Um, this protein storage vacuole card, uh, again, has a cost. But what this is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to take any one of your previously placed markers um, and take it off the board and then replace it again. Now, you're not going to have to uh, give back any of the resources by doing it. You're just simply going to be able to get an extra turn. The starch cards are going to allow you to immediately draw the indicated number of cell component cards from the deck and then discard the indicated number of cards to the discard pile. So that's what these cards will do. So this one will tell you how many cards you'll gain, and this will tell you how many cards you're going to go ahead and discard, and this will tell you the cost and how many points that this is worth, which is a lot. Now, um, if you wanted to place a marker over there, this is not going to cost anything. This card is going to cost one, then two, then three CO2s. And any cards that are uh, taken off the board, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and move these cards down and then replenish the board with some other cards. And this is also the first player marker. You'll be able to get the first player marker again by going over here into the nucleus section. So after the round is over, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and place one of these cell walls over here on there like so, and it's going to continue going up until it gets over here to the last part, and that is going to go ahead and trigger the end of the game. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at the where your marker is on the board for the health points. You're going to score four health points for each unused carbohydrate that you have. Um, you're going to look at your specialization cell component cards, which are going to be mainly these cards, and you're going to go ahead and calculate the points that way. Um, any additional water, carbon dioxide, or plant growth hormones uh, are not going to score any points. But anyway, after you've totaled up all those points, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and uh, calculate, and whoever has the most amount of points is going to win. And that, folks, is cellulose. So my final thoughts on cellulose. 
Well, this game uh, is kind of a sequel to the game Cytosis, which we have, and I love that game. Uh, I'm a big fan of Genius Games. I love the way they do their games. They take games that are based off science and biology, and they make them into really, really good games. You probably played some games based on science that were not very good, but man, Genius Games has done a really good job in turning things based on science and biology and stuff that you can teach in class into really, really good games. Um, now, this game, is a little it's different than cytosis it has some of the same mechanics with the worker placement and everything um, but my goodness i tell you they, they give you so many choices as to what to do uh what kind of card do you want to get do you want to get an end game card do you want to get an enzyme card do you want to get one of those protein cards that allow you to get the vial do you want to try to get the extra vial from the water i mean there's so many different choices as trying to uh play this game i mean i would seriously recommend this game to anybody that just likes worker placement games in general um even if it's science based don't let that scare you off i think it's great um it's an educational game too the game the company always produces these uh, little books that says the science behind cellulose so if you're looking for an education that's in there too um really nice game great components uh again a huge fan and uh yeah i would definitely recommend this game this game is a lot of fun uh definitely makes you think definitely has some strategy um love it all right guys that's my review of cellulose we'll catch you later keep on gaming